and buys a much better field position now. Here's Patterson throwing on the run and completing the Ben Mason hurdles a defender and he's taken down shy of midfield. Ben Mason, everybody. He's the bottom of your screen. Now out to the left. And Patterson throwing. And able to complete the national watch list. Go to ESPN.com slash Taco Bell to see how your school can compete. Here's Shea Patterson to throw as all sorts of time. And has a wide open Zach Gentry. Darnell Savage was there, but not until it was too late. Don't have the, the kind of receivers that you need to make plays down the field. You got to get your tight end involved. And Gentry, the former quarterback at 6'8", 260 pounds is a great big target for Patterson. 30 and leader of that offensive line up front. Second down and seven. Here's Patterson to throw, has all sorts of time. Airs it out down the field. Nico Collins. And a flag comes in. Two flags fly. As Collins hauled it in with Tino Ellis on him, along with Darnell Savage. The, the, the out of the pocket. And as a result of just being patient and staying inside, he was able to wait for his receiver That's to get open down the field, Grease. Defense number seven. Penalties declined. Result of the play, the first down. Yeah, and it's great protection, Todd. That's what gave him that time. And that's, this ball was a little bit underthrown, but great job by Nico Collins. I've been impressed with him this season. Third and three. Patterson throwing across his body. It's caught! Touchdown, Ronnie Bell, the true freshman from Kansas City. As Patterson took a hit, Savage and Lewis collided. The two defenders for the Terps ran into each other. There's Byron Cowart right here. That's who's going to hit Patterson late after this ball is released. Look at that ball. That ball could have been intercepted, almost intercepted by Maryland in the secondary. Shea Patterson was fortunate that Ronnie Bell came in front of that safety. See how Michigan plays this. Patterson to throw. Maryland only rushing three. And it's Gentry finds a seam in that defense and makes the grab. First and 20. Patterson under pressure. Able to scoot away. Shea throwing on the run. And completing it's Gentry. His sixth catch. Pressure up the middle. Patterson, elusive. Throw it on the run and completing. It's Peoples Jones. I guess he's fine. Donovan Peoples Jones. Touchdown, Michigan. <laughs> Here comes Peoples Jones on a just on a little crossing route. And this is all Shea Patterson extending plays. Some acrobatics in the uh, in the back end. He had a free rusher. This is what they get so excited about with Shea Patterson, his ability to create and to extend plays and keeps his eyes downfield, gets the ball in the playmaker's hands, and he finishes. Peoples Jones leads Michigan in touchdowns and now has gone four consecutive games with a score. Donovan Peoples Jones. He's been here for everybody. <laughs> Unfortunately he's not going to play in that game tonight because he's injured. Patterson throwing and completing the Zach Gentry. That's his seventh catch. Contributing to this offense in meaningful ways. Patterson, all sorts of time off the play fake, and now look to scoot out of there. Able to make some people miss. Most of the first down, it's a gain of eight. Three touchdowns in the last four possessions for Michigan. The other possession was a field goal, so they're getting points. Patterson to Jared Wangler for the score. Fullback on the receiving touchdown. Time out there. Here's the touchdown. You wangle. You got to avoid that defensive end. Nice job. And then make sure you get in the end zone so when you fall and catch it, you don't come up on the one yard line. Right. You get a touchdown. Right. Now, I do love those stories.